You know what? I just realized something. Ada abandoned us again in the last episode. I don't care if she was in the turntable. She still abandoned us. And I didn't get a chance to yell Ada wait. What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2. In the last episode, we fought Mr. X, William Birkin, and our ability to have good luck. Yeah, we got left by the turntable, and now we need to head down into the laboratories. Spoiler alert, that's where we're heading next. We're in a big enough facility, and hopefully we went down enough floors. Maybe we'll find Ada here. Or a bunch of naked zombies. This is about the time in any other Resident Evil game where the naked zombies would show up. And just like clockwork. Bam! <laughs> I went ahead and uh, changed out my weaponry so we can go full beast mode with the Magnum. I won't need it for the end game, so why not use it? These are the toughest types of zombies to deal with, just because they deal twice as much damage as a normal zombie, and under normal circumstances, they would take twice as many hits. But seeing as how we're just blowing their heads off with one simple shot, they're just taking twice as many hits, man. That was dumb, I'm sorry. Ada? Where did she go? I have never gotten that cutscene before because it never crossed my mind to actually go back into the cable car. I, I don't care. Turntable, cable car. I might as well just call it a giraffe. I've never gone back into the giraffe to see if the other person was there. And that's one scene I missed of Claire, so if I ever have a chance to go back and check it out... Ah, oh, the master key. I'll be, I'll be sure to uh, go back for that. But if I do go by that scene again, I will be sure to include it in a video at one point. It'll just be like a snippet at the beginning or something. I think Claire says something along the lines of what Leon just said. But just in case it's something, like, drastically different, I'll be sure to include it somewhere else. This is also the section of the game where it gets extremely tedious. I am not a fan of this part, the back and forth of this entire section. I really wish there was more to, you know, spice it up. I guess... This is more where you're just wrapping everything up and getting everything ready for the final showdown. But still, it just seems like they could have done a little more with this. Call me crazy, but it just seems like you're running around back and forth, just getting everything and finishing up all the loose ends. But I really wish there was just something else. Could have sworn there was a way to automatically reload. I'm thinking of something else, I'm sorry. Actually, I have been playing through Resident Evil DS again, because I am planning on doing just a quick playthrough of that, just to show it off because it's absolutely aged. But uh, they added automatic reload, which begs the question, why wasn't it added to this? Holy shit! Oh my god! I'll take that! Thank you very much! <laughs> Finding a big weapon just out of nowhere is very, very nice. But anyway, Resident Evil DS, being remade for the DS, obviously, but they added the quick reload, which was something somewhat new. And you jerk. Wow, these guys are taking a lot of hits. This is bad. Yeah, very bad. I'm sorry, I keep getting interrupted by evil beings. There we go. Wow, those guys actually took a lot of magnum shots. Which leads me to believe that every weapon that Leon had was nerfed because he gets so many of them. That's just a personal thought of mine. It may not be true. It seems true, but well, we'll just go with the fact that uh, I missed the first time. In fact, I did miss a couple shots, which is very tragic. No, I don't need an ink ribbon. I don't need to save anymore. What I need to do is get more handgun bullets. Please. I'm going to laugh if I have to end up knifing the final boss. That'll be ridiculous. Actually, as of this recording, E3 has just gone by and nothing Resident Evil was announced. Yet. But there was rumors that Code Veronica was being remade, and that was quickly debunked. But nothing about Resident Evil 2. That's very strange. Maybe Capcom's waiting for Tokyo Game Show? I have no idea. But whatever they do, chances are somebody will complain about it. And I might be one of those people. Actually, no. I don't understand the 
immediate complaints about something happening. It's like something has changed, not drastically, but it's just something is different about this thing I used to know. I immediately hate it. That's the mindset I never understand because you're not giving it a shot. Because what happens if it's brand new and completely different, like the transition from Resident Evil 3 to 4? I'm comparing everything to 4. Maybe it's because 4 is probably one of the best games I've ever played, just because they did everything right. Finally have the main fuse. Now we can brighten this place up. Maybe fight some more monsters. Ooh, there's a specific type of monster that I want to see. Just because I have a brand new toy to play. I love this flamethrower, man. It's so bad. Bad in a good way. Can I just call this flamethrower Armageddon? Because we're about to fight the plant enemies, and it's just going to be absolutely terrible for them. They're just going to look up, and all I have to do is shout fire, and then all of a sudden they burst into flames. That is probably the best feeling ever. In fact, let's go ahead and try it now. Because they should be on the other side of the shutter. And by the way, I hope you saved plenty of blue herbs, because this is where you will need them. These are the Epsilon Plant Monsters. And I think I'm... Yep, I'm poisoned. Automatic Poisoning. They are the worst enemies to deal with. God, they're such jerks. Alright, and I used a lot of Flamethrower, actually, so... I'm going to do my best. Until we get to the next item box, I don't really want to use any healing items. Consider me suicidal, partially. But I've got a lot of healing items... And the less blue ones that I have to use, just because there are a lot of plants around here, I'd rather save them to the very last second. I am happy to say that I, as I was, you know, testing out this game for the Let's Play, I managed to get to the final boss and beat him on poison status. And then I ran out of healing items, so it was just a, a fuster cluck all throughout the game, and I still managed to beat it. That was one of those good feel moments. You know, when you manage to beat a game that's gone against you, they made it personal, and all of a sudden you were able to completely dominate it. One of the best feelings, I gotta say. Especially as a gamer. Oh. Oh. There he is. See, look, that barely did anything. There he goes. Oh, I just wasted a shot. That's not nice. Come here. Come here. Can he hit me from here? I guess he can. Whoa! He came up fast. <laughs> Did you see that epic tongue action? It was just like, Leon, come here. <laughs> These liquors are hilarious. And I only have one shot left. I just realized. Might as well use that, because there's a few more there. Oh good, there's no more. If this is the place I'm thinking of, this is exactly where I need to be. And, obviously you may have noticed that I switched around my inventory before this episode started. And I got the weapon box key. It's actually where we're heading next, is to open up that weapon box. Nice map of the lab for me to ignore, that's good. And let me get rid of that poison status. I know I said I'd be rocking the poison status like a badge. It's just like, yeah, guys, I'm poisoned. What are you doing? But I'd rather know what my health is when we get to the liquors, when we get to the plants. I'd really rather know what my health is. All right, let's see. We need the key card to go back there. There's a red herb that I really need to use. I'm just now realizing how scarce red herbs are in this particular scenario. It just seems like they're just not there. But what is here are the magnum parts. Let's go ahead and test my theory. Because it worked for the shotgun, will it work for this? Hello. Alright, there's one down and I'm completely out of ammo. Go ahead and combine it. Yeah! 
full, restored. Oh, this is gonna be great. And I think it even silenced it too. <laughs> nope, made it louder. This is bad. No, oh, yep, that's bad. <laughs> that guy was just minding his own business. He was thinking of what he was gonna have for dinner tonight, and then all of a sudden his head pops off. I think it'd be really funny to give like certain zombies backstories. It's like he's the guy in the background, and then he's all he's just thinking like, "Did I leave the iron on?" Oh, and then his head blows up. I think that would be hilarious. I think I'm the only one who would ever think that would be funny. <laughs> just adding a personality to a simple NPC would make my day for about 20 minutes or so. All these zombies are gone, thankfully, and we have a newly upgraded Magnum. Let me go ahead and switch around my item, Tori, real quick. But wait, there's more! Let's go ahead and make the trek back. There is one thing I want to do now that we have the power key. Should be able to open this up. No, wait, I need the card key. What am I thinking? Bring it on, mothy. All right, come on, blow up the moth. What? Oh, wow. That is very unfortunate. All right, then fine, we'll play your game. There, nothing to it. Just had to burn you alive. That solves everybody's daily problems. And now we can operate this Apple IIe. It'll take uh, about 15 minutes to actually boot up. But we are guest. We are guest. We are guest. Registered that fingerprint. And now we can get into the special weapon room. Because Claire's already put her thumbprint in there. Now we can too. Let's go get those goodies. I like goodies. And if anything, it'll be more handgun ammo. Thank you, yes! <laughs> it's just gonna be one singular bullet. That'd be, like, the ultimate way this game control me at this point. Hey, you want ammo? Okay, here's one bullet! No! Alright, time to switch around the item, Tori. I don't think I'll be rocking the Magnum anymore just because I'm out of ammo. But we will... Not the handgun. We will rock the shotgun here for a while. And wow, 52 rounds. That is a, insane. I never thought I would have this much as far as shotgun is concerned. I mean, this is getting ridiculous with how much I actually have. Let me get rid of this flamethrower. I will not need it. So please just kill it with fire. <laughs> And one more healing item for the road, just to get me back up to fine. Let's go unlock some more doors. I believe we have to use all the keys before something actually happens. It's another one of those situational games where... Okay, all this key's gone. All this key's gone. Now stuff can happen, right? Like that! That's a very good example. And it's really weird how the damage works on the shotgun. You'd think, point blank, would kill something immediately, especially if you shot it right at its head. Because believe it or not, you can actually headshot a zombie with a handgun. It's just really rare. It's like getting a critical hit in an RPG. Somewhat rare, but it does happen. Ew. I've seen enough internet to know where this line is going. I think it would be kind of funny if there was a giant bulb at the top of this, you know, giant plant, and it said, FEED ME, LEON! The right people will understand that reference. Mainly theater people. Oh, look, it's back! So let's, uh, try not to get poisoned. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it actually shows, like, evidence of its head being blown up. That's kind of funny. And then it's leaking chlorophyll, ah! Alright, I gotta do this right. I gotta do it right. 
Okay, it's still spitting acid. Go all the way around. Oh, wow! It just straight up turned around. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm poisoned again. Go figure. That is one thing I actually did not know those enemies did. It completely just turned straight around and it was like he was brand new. I need to... Oh, I need to remember that for next time if there was a, another scenario. There's one more door we can go through here. Might as well take it out while we're thinking about it. We also have the power room key. We're going to have to use that at one point. But the main thing I came here for... Let's get into this weapon storage room. And I love how the rumble on the controller is going nuts because of the door. I don't know about you, but rumble features being added to games added so much to the game itself. It's pretty cool. Okay, I had to focus there for a second because I didn't know how much damage they were going to do. Had one of them jumped, I probably would have died and lost about uh, an hour's worth of progress. But that's okay. I'll just do it off screen so you won't have to see the same thing over again. I would do it begrudgingly, but... <laughs> Alright, looks like the only thing in here is just more for the flamethrower? Oh no, the magnum! No, not the Magnum. What am I thinking? Machine gun. So, if... The only thing in here is machine gun bullets. Okay. I'm actually wondering... Is it different for the other person? Like, if I were to take the machine gun for Claire and leave Leon with the side pack, would they still give him machine gun ammo? That's something I'll have to test out. That's another thing I have to... You know, go back and redo and see if it actually happens. One more room and it's filled with plant life. Yep. So... Oh, you've got to be kidding! Oh, no! Well, that's a good way to end it.